All right, we're back. This is tutorial two of setting up the CNC uh, software to cut out on our CNC router our coasters. So this tutorial is about getting that PDF into vCarve that you made in Fusion a while back. And we're going to go find that to start with by going File, Import, and Import a Vector, which is basically Lines. And then you have to go find it on your computer. We put it in uh, Documents. I did and you should have, and then some sort of folder you made for your course, and there it is, coasters. We'll hit open. Now, right away I see I got a little bit of a problem. My wood is vertically oriented. That's the job here, right? And then my coasters are not, so we have to rotate this. So over here in Transform Objects, there's a Rotate button, and if by chance you clicked on the screen and deselected your coasters, all you have to do is window them and they will be selected again shown by the, I don't know, pinky purpley color there. So once it's selected, you can go to rotate and you just type in here 90 and apply. Once done, hit close. So we've got it there. Now it would be nice to get this in the center of the job because this is what we'd like to cut. So it's really easy in this program. Once it's selected, you head over here click Align Selected Objects, and then up at the top, Align to Material, put it centered on the material, which is the middle button, like that. It is now centered. Now we'll hit Close. Now one little thing, uh, when we designed this, we designed a quarter inch between these pieces, exactly. I'm just going to click out here and deselect them. There's a quarter inch between them, and our cutter is exactly a quarter inch, which when we set up our machining, sometimes on well, some setups, it can cause a bit of an issue where it doesn't like that. It's too perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to window by left-clicking and dragging. We're going to window around a top piece and up arrow on the keyboard once to move it up. Give it a little more space. And then we're going to window this bottom one to select it. And then down arrow, and we'll give it just a bit more space. Okay, so that's nicely arranged. So we have this all arranged on the uh, job. And the next thing will be to set up some tool paths. So that's in uh, tutorial three, so we'll see you there. 